All right, for this next assignment, um, it's kind of an assignment you've already done. I think it was assignment two. Um, but a lot of you had issues doing it, and I'm feeling you didn't, you don't understand it or something. I don't know. So it's kind of a, a redo of it. But in this case, like I said, our friend received an email from Applebee's, which seems too good to be true. Well, not really, but that's what we're going with. And wants to know if it really came from Applebee's. The header shown below, please verify it and provide proof where it came from. I'm placing the sample of an excellent submission done for a fellow student in a prior project. Please review it and incorporate some of the techniques. All right, I'm giving you the header down here. What I want is a document proving this came from Applebee's. Okay? Now, I also submitted this up there. This is a submission by a prior student, or by a student today, or not today, uh, this semester, of assignment two. You all know, were supposed to prove if it came from Apple or not. Well, this was an amazing submission. And, you know, one thing you got to think about, if you're going to be proving stuff, especially to people who don't know what you're talking about, graphics, pictures are amazing. Okay? So this student here said, you know, here's what it looks like. But you know what? If it was really true, here's what it would have looked like. So now it's giving examples and here's what it went to and it gives the header and explains everything and it's all outlined and this is the IP address and we got the IP address from from Aaron.net and here's how we determine you know mail2.ccl and where that came from and you know it just explained it quite well so what I want you to do is doing this assignment I want you to use some of these techniques I'm not saying copy this one but what I want you to do is Tell me, did it come from Applebee's or not? Now, looking at this header, it says it's from Applebee's. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Okay. Explain it to me, but make it in a way that's very easy to follow. Something that if you were sitting here in court, you know, I wouldn't even mind seeing a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, this section of the header does whatever. You know, maybe this is an example of an Apple receipt, you know, Apple receipt, and this is what we receive, that kind of stuff. So that and when you're explaining it to a novice, they can follow follow along. They can understand what you're doing. Okay, so do that with this. You know, tell me how this header works. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. You're going to have to figure that out. But you should know enough at this point to figure out where it went. You can always go back it and look at uh, my forensics recording from Lab One, where I actually talk about how to track an email header, where I cover Aaron.net. I mean. Who owns Applebee's, you know? Uh, this, like I said, this one's a great example, but one thing they didn't do was, okay, well, how? what's the admin contact for Sky Broadband? What's the admin contact for CCL? What? What's the admin contact for Apple? So if this really came from Applebee's, you know, prove to me it did, but also, hey, you know what? You might want to contact, here's Applebee's address, here's Applebee's phone number. So we could very you know, really prove this to some. Now, this says applebees.fbmta.com. What does that mean? Okay, is that their mail server? I don't know. So you, that's your job is to find this out. And you should be able to do it just like any email. Okay, so you got a week to do it. And I, I saw, I did see a couple good submissions, but this by far was the best well, this one right here was by far the best because it actually explained it decently with graphics. And, you know, was it perfect? Like I said, no, but it was much better than most. Okay. Now, and here we know Sky Broadband is actually in Amsterdam. So we know Amsterdam is not where Apple is. So, you know, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's a really good, good job. So that's what you're doing for this assignment. Um, I did great all the other ones. So. Look at all this, and if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, short and sweet, shouldn't take you long, but uh, what I'm trying to get across is I want you to prove this to me in a way that I could you know, show others and make them understand it. All righty.